welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. So, we've got a little baking but not baking recipe. All I've got to do is toast some oats and then the rest is non-cooking. So I'm hoping it doesn't go wrong. I mean, there's not much really I could mess up on with this, can I? Um, as you all know, this month is Burns Night. Yes, yes indeed, don't worry, there will be a Burns Night vlog where me and Mama G will obviously be having heaps, heaps, haggis, neeps and tatties. I've got haggis and uh, neeps together and put it as heaps. But I thought we'll try and get a little bit extra Scottish vibes on the channel, okay? I did feel like I wanted to bring out my Christmas tartan apron once again, but... Christmas is gone, as you can tell by the kitchen, it's gone. I mean, you can't really see this part of the kitchen, which is great because at the moment that is um, boxes and boxes that we need to go and put in the shed. But you would have seen by the title, we're gonna make, now apologies if I butcher the name, Cranachan. I think that's how you say it, Cranachan. We're gonna go with it. And it is, of course, a good old BBC good food. So it's saying it only takes 15 minutes to prep. Oh, and Footloose is awake. Do you think they want some Kranachan? Because we do have a nice little bottle of whiskey. I only need two to three tablespoons of this and we couldn't get any minis. So we've had to get the smallest whiskey that we could get, which is 350 ml and 40%. Well, it might get us a little bit merry, eh? It seems very simple, guys. <laughs> I don't feel like it can go wrong. The only thing is the honey. So I got clear honey because it did say heather honey, but we can't get that down here. So I don't quite know what heather honey is. If you know what it is, let me know down below or where you can buy it. And is it any different to normal honey? But yeah, it's pretty much toasting the oatmeal. Oh, it says spread it on a baking sheet and grill until it smells rich and nutty. It won't darken quickly. So you've got to use your sense of smell to tell when it's nutty enough, okay. Then let it cool. Then we've got to do half the raspberries, puree in them, then sieve in them, okay. That was why I needed the sieve. Oh, it's very tedious, ain't it? And then sweeten it with some sugar, whiskey or cream, stir in the honey and whiskey, not over whipping the cream, okay. Stir in the oatmeal, whisk, and then alternate layers of cream, raspberries and purees into four serving dishes. I haven't got four dishes. For the minute I've got two lovely glasses because we haven't actually got like any trifle bowls. So if there is loads of mixture left, I feel like we can maybe get a couple of the pair of, oh, we'll use these. I mean, I know they're not having wine in them. They're having whiskey, Kranachan. We can have the old um, Blossom Hill. So shall we get the oats, put the grill on and start toasting and hopefully have a successful bake with me that pretty much involves no baking. Shouldn't go wrong, should it? nutty because they said that they won't darken quickly but it is the nuttiness that you need so now we need to uh pulse this this is um oh oh that's bitter 
this is um one of the good things with this little tool that i've got because it's just an interchangeable head that is one thing so i haven't got to have a separate whisk i haven't got to have a separate blender i don't quite oh it's coming through i'm thinking why am i ever doing this it's just getting the pips out getting the pips out i don't normally have raspberries so it's not really a fruit i tend to go for because it does it's quite bitter as i say it's saying to uh sort it out with some caster sugar so this is literally <laughs> foolproof i think because once this is done oh okay i'm smelling a bit of nuttiness smelling i need to please don't burn because <laughs> i'm halfway through this is where i say can't get any disasters and she'll end up burning the oats let's all oh, pedal to the metal get that arm workout in it's literally just seeds left now right anything else coming out no let's check the oats because i don't want these to be oh my god they're smoking oh my god guys i've burnt the oats guys i've burnt the oats i can't even get it out ow guys <laughs> oh no ah! i need an oven glove oh no 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 guys there is smoke they are burning i burnt the oats <laughs> right let's um quickly open the door before i set the smoke alarm off which i hopefully won't do see what i mean there's christmas bits everywhere let's get this open oh pronto i had one job one job should we call mum mum She's going to be like, what is that smell? <laughs> Where is she? Yes, the house is still a mess because we are still decluttering from Christmas. You will see that Thursday. That is the goodbye Christmas vlog. What is she doing? I can't believe that. I said it'd be thingy. Can't even say that they're toasty. We need to do more oats. And you're going to have to watch the oats. They catch very quickly. Oh my God, it's burnt. I know. So we need to do another lot. That's why I've opened the door. Oh, <laughs> right, so we need to get rid of these, put a new batch on. And you're going to have to be the oat watcher because right, they take very, very quickly. Oh, no, that's my bowl for the cream. Oh, okay. Just put it in where the uh, raspberry thing was. What, in there? Oh. No. In there, the raspberry oh, thing, because okay. I'm not using that anymore. Right. Right. And then I'll put some more oats and you'll have to be the oat watcher. Right. I thought, what's that? I thought that caught a light. No. It's bread hot, Mum. That's all right. right. Right, so we need to tip that into there. Oh, yeah. Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, yeah, I said it wouldn't be without a disaster. Them oats actually catch really quickly. <laughs> Did it catch fire then? I could smell the nuttiness and then yeah. I was like, oh, there's smoke coming out. Actually, I've put you there and I need that one. Let's put you there for a minute. Where do you have to put these oats then? Under the grill? No, but I mean... You mix it in with the uh, thing? I think so. All right. All right. I think we'll just put the tray, I won't put it under the actual grill thing, we'll just put it on the bottom and you can watch it. All right then. As I said, did you want to put any tinfoil on it or would it still? No, it's all right. All right. So it's only, is it it's just, just got to be got chewy? A... No, it's just got to go until you smell it getting nutty. Right, it's okay. not necessarily got to change colour. Right. Put it so on, put here, it on yeah. the tray, right. but then I wouldn't put it under the thing. Just literally put it on the bottom. All right, then I. And then close the lid right there. We'll have to. We'll oh, have that to... might be why it's burnt. Could you close the lid right up? No, it's because I had it on the top, but they oh, take right. thingy what, to just catch. Shut the lid there. Yeah. Okay. Right, you are 
Right. No, don't close it. Oh, because it turns the grill off. Oh, that's what I said. Leave it like that, isn't it? Yeah, but I've done it and I put it on the rack. But obviously, because it's very light, oh, well, you so, don't yeah. shut that, otherwise the grill don't work. Oh, right. Well, I didn't know. How do you not know? Because you do know. Well, I didn't know that if you shut the door, the, do the grill goes out. Of course it does, because it's fire. You did know that. She's playing up for the camera now. No, I'm not. I'm not. I didn't know you. You did know. The amount of times when I do cheese on toast, you've never seen that drawer empty. No, but when we use the grill, you leave the door open, didn't you? Yeah, so why did to you cook? shut it? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it's been a very long day taking the decorations down and... I'm getting our viewers. I'm going to bash her. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'd be sitting there and it wouldn't even go off. So now it's just whipping the cream. But I think we have to put the honey in. If I remember correctly, the Ooh, honey and whiskey. That nice, doesn't it? <gasps> There's only three teaspoons of whiskey, Shen. Just pour it in. No, because I don't really oh. like whiskey. Oh, well, I don't, but if it was brandy, it would be all right. Whisk the cream, then stir in the honey and whiskey, and then add in the oatmeal, and then alternate between puree, cream, raspberries. Right. Right. Let's uh, whisk the cream, cream up. Yeah, it's kind of like a trifle in a oh, way. Oh, right, okay. Right, let's bring you down and let's get whiskey. Though you might be a liar and I wish you would too. I just can't quit you now because I love you. Yes, I do. done. I completely forgot I've got to put two spoons of sugar in with the raspberries. So we're going to do one, two, give this a little bit of a mix. The oats Mama G has watched, they have not burnt, they smell very nutty. We've literally just put them in a bowl to go in the fridge to cool down a little bit quicker because as I say, I'm impatient and I actually do want to try this. So now, here comes the part that I'm like, oh, honey, this is fine. But it's the whiskey. I don't know how I'm going to do with the whiskey. So it's got to be tablespoons. We're going in with the big stuff here. So, oh. it says two to three. We'll go with three. And also, that is probably... Did I do it the right order? Oh, yeah, because the whiskey can wash the honey off. Because it's literally just going to stick to the spoon, ain't it? So, I've actually started having honey now in my teas and coffees as opposed to sugar. When I had my um, throat problems, everyone was saying, oh, like, try honey. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And now I'm actually sticking to it, right? Special reserve, it's only a Tesco one, but we shall see. Oh, 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 that's not a bit of me. I don't know how, right? Oh, god, right. I'm gonna say that that's free because half of it actually just tipped down the bottle. So, um, if anyone knows of any maybe like specific brands of whiskey is there anything that i need to try when i go to the log cabin because my log cabin i think is the distillery i'm going does whiskey gin and rum so i remember on the last log cabin it was whiskey vodka and gin and i tried the whiskey and i had the tiniest of thimbles and i was like Ooh, like yeah it got me it got me shall we have a little taster because i mean that's a bigger spoon than i've actually done the thing with so yeah 
you're gonna think, Chan, are you all right? I think we need to put a little bit more in. I can kind of get a twang. Hold on. Oh, right, okay. Now this is where I actually have probably put way too much in now. Great. Let's have a look. Right. It's only me and Mama G. Yes, I'm going to double dip. Don't worry. Let's take a bigger bit, see if I can taste it now. Guys, I don't know if it's because it's just a cheap whiskey. I'm scared to add more in case I ruin it. Mum did say just pour it in. Oh, this is where it goes disastrously wrong, don't it? Oh, God. Ooh. Right, I have a feeling it's because it may not be the greatest brand of whiskey that I'm having to add a bit more. Or, this is where people are going to be shouting at the screen, being like, no, it takes a while to get in the cream mixture. And then I'm literally going to be like... <laughs> right. Oh. Oh, 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 you can definitely taste that. Right, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to wait about 10 15 minutes for the oats to cool, then we can start assembling it, and then we'll get mum's reaction. <laughs> Um, now we can do the nice thing of tidying them up because they look a little bit dishevelled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now these have got to go in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes and then we can taste them. Yay! Right, so they've been in the fridge about 20 minutes so they should be... A little, you've got your spoon in. Oh, thank, you. Spoon thank, you. thank you, thank you. Um, I ended up putting a little bit more whiskey than normal because I couldn't Ooh. taste it. I don't know if it's because it's just a Tesco one. All right. But, uh, yes. Can't say so I can't even see it. So it's just oh. layers of, it's kind of, it reminds me maybe like of a Scottish trifle. Oh, this is all right, isn't it? Where's the oats? The oats is in with the cream. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, you can taste the whiskey now, but... But, but where is the whiskey? Oh, you put a good, oh, you put a good glug in. Oh, that's well, all I right. I couldn't taste it. No, no, no. Oh. Obviously, it just oh. comes to a little bit when it's set. Oh, yeah, you can taste it. Mm. Both much in now. Oh, no, that's all right. That's all right for me, viewers. I used to drink whiskey, but it makes me go mad. So you mix the oats in with the cream and then it's just layered with the puree and raspberries. Yeah. Oh, hang on, I'm trying to get a raspberry. Hang on, I'm tipping it upside down a bit. Mmm. It is a bit stronger now. It's definitely like <laughs> soaked into the cream. It's nice though. Oh, I've just got a good bag of whiskey, viewers. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's all right. 
But perhaps you can do it next time with brandy, eh? I don't know. And what's this called? Cranicum. Cran. I think. I'd eat that for a breakfast. No, you, you couldn't eat all that cream for a breakfast, Lou. You could have a little bit, maybe, of the uh, double cream poured onto some cereal. But you, you couldn't have all this for breakfast, blimey. Maybe not with the whiskey and then I got no, to drive. No, no. Mmm. Oh, it's very Moorish, isn't it? I like this. And what is this something to do with a Robbie Burns thing? I don't know. I just typed in Burns Night. Scottish foods. Because yeah. obviously Burns Night will have Haggis, Sneeps and Tatties. Haggis, Sneeps and Tatties, yeah. So when I is Burns Night? Wednesday. It's the last Wednesday of January. Oh, well. So I thought. I'll have to go and get a Haggis, will not I? And then we have got to do our main course, which you will see tomorrow. So we're actually having dessert before <laughs> main course. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's kind of like kick the new year off to a good start because it's a baking video that hasn't gone wrong. Well, I say hasn't gone wrong. I did burn the oats first time around. The only part of the baking in the video and I did burn the oats. But apart from that, it was a new one for the book. And that's quite easy to like just whip up. Well, when you was whipping it, I thought, oh, I've got the wrong one. It's quite easy little dessert to do. No, but it's quite a time to keep whipping the cream, isn't it? Yeah, but I did only have one whisket instead of two. Well, there's only one whisk there. Yeah, but the other ones are two thing, isn't it? So you, it oh, what, the prompts? On one. Oh, I'll see. But you did ask me for the whisk, Yeah, because I yeah. couldn't be bothered to keep getting two yeah. lots of utensils yeah. out. So, yes, our first baking video with one minimal bit of baking that did go a little bit wrong has actually turned out to be a full success so i don't think that's too bad let me know what you want to see in any of the other months baking videos i literally just go on bbc good food and have a look at random i might actually start looking at my pinch of nom book because i've got, got enough of the book i've got the whole pinch of nom and i want to get back into the fake ways but i thought this month we'll do it because of burns night theme like in march is st patrick's day We'll do something like Irish themed, like we've done last year. What? Not an Irish stew, something we've else. We've done an Irish stew, so yeah, we'll yeah. find something right. else to do for oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then any other time it'll be like fake ways or just whatever is in the season. But yes, if you did enjoy that video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment. Is it Cranican? Are we saying it right? Yeah. Have you made this before? Is there any twist? You're saying Cranican, maybe it's Cranic. Or, or it's Scottish people that say uh, cranicky or something, isn't it? You'll have to let us know down below. Not so we're not, uh, we're not, um, I actually have messaged B yeah. and said, how do I say this? And I've told you what we're cooking for later on. But yes, take care, stay safe as always. And we'll see you tomorrow for the main course. You yeah. just had it in reverse. Bye, guys.